You do overhand or, or underhand rolls? Uh, overhand. Yeah, overhand, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so see, it doesn't work the same, right, when you do underhand, right? Right. Yeah, certain people. So we'll start with underhand pull, which, again, you're going to get the most out of that. Yeah, you get that thickness. You notice Dorian Yates, as soon as you went like that, you saw the fucking meat right away from the front. It was reverse. It was the reverse, but you did the barbell reverse because of your long arms, mine, it, it just doesn't doesn't feel right. It's right. awkward, you know? So this is the next best thing here. And on the uh, lat pull down reverse. Oh, the underhand, again, it's, it's based on, you know, your body, your, your body structure. A lot of people can do it, but if I do it, it'll be all bicep. If I do overhand, uh, underhand, it'll be all bicep. I do feel it at the end, but once I get to the bottom, it's all bicep before I hit back. So I don't want to do that short movement. So this, this exercise right here pretty much, you know, fulfills everything I need to get that, you know, 3D back. See right here, I'm releasing my lat. The problem is, that's on arms now. Now for me to pull back, it's arms, then it's back. You just keep it all on back. Gotta squeeze all the way, up, right? That whole flexion, yeah. All right, you got a little bit more higher. Yeah, right there. Just look at your leg, you'll, you'll know when to stop. Yeah. Time to do the first ones like these, concentrating on that lat. By the time we go heavy, it's already ignited. It's engaged. Perfect sets, perfect reps. By the time you're getting eight, you're getting that tiredness, let it rip. Finish that set, yeah, because you're already engaged. You need the four breaks down a little bit. Yeah, because the problem is, most people do that from the beginning. Okay. They grab the weight and they start pumping it out. Why so soon? Three. That lat, you feel like you're doing a lat spread already, right? Yeah, exactly, like a lat syndrome right now. <laughs> yeah. Lat syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, try to release your lats as much as you can before. Yeah, right there, without locking out your arms. Yeah, so you basically gonna have this point where you release your lats and then start pulling up. Instead of, you know, releasing too soon and not getting your lats to get the most of the stretch. So let's watch, try it. Okay. See, right there, that's it, go on. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, real fast, yeah, I'm gonna spot you on the next one, huh? Yeah, so you wanna stop it with your lats. Focus on the lat, and then go up for the squeeze, all right? Okay, I'm not worried about getting my chin over the bar, just more. No, I okay. wanna put it all there. Okay. It's a thing we will focus on bringing the chin, and what happens, once it goes back, it's already contracted, now you're trying to get your chin over, it becomes bicep and shoulders. Okay. I feel that, I feel my bicep. Yeah, it starts rotating, because now you're using all the muscles just to get your chin over. Oh, it's called chin up. <laughs> I'll tell you so little. <laughs> See, most people on this one, Larry, they always go forward. Let your lap pull it. Let's see your width. Again, gotta go based on your arms. 
So your, your position is not the same as mine. So you'll start over here. I grab it in here, you'll be here. Okay, right, right. outside. Yeah. Yeah, if you went any closer, it'll start going only to arms. Before he even squeezes his back, he's squeezing his arms first. So by going a little wider, again, he's trying to keep your arms, even though they are the secondary muscle, it's to make back always the primary. All right, chest up. Very relaxed. That's it. Oh. Come on. All right, bring it close to your chest. Come on. Upper chest. Come on. Upper chest. Get a little bit limited here. Can't get to my to my chest. Can't get a full range here. Yeah. Get a little limited. Again, it's, it's first of all, you know, your height, your size. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of times, bites are getting in the way. Try to focus on bringing it to your chest. That's it. At the end of the day, it's the chest, and it's hitting your back. Working on your back. That's it. Okay. As long as you keep your chest up too, as well. Yeah. Try a little bit wider. You know. But you are still feeling it right right back here and all here, right? Right. I'm feeling yeah. it more in the uh, center. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go a little uh, lighter this time. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, release those lats. A little higher. Right there, good. So you can see it happening just by the positioning chain, how your lats can try. So no matter which way you do it, always goes up to the waist. See the lats was stopping me. I can go lower, of course be shoulders. Now if you're looking at me, you think I'm moving the dumbbells forward. I'm not. I think gravity takes its course. So you get that more. More of an arch. Get down. I want more of that arch, but no upper back. Bring it right back without bringing it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Get your lights going. Yeah. So let's go. Like that. Let's go. A little bit more arch, like, come on. No matter what, it's gonna start doing too much upper back. So I'm more of an arch. Alright? Sink your butt up more. Like so. This. Yeah, you can hang a little lower, too. What's that? So I'll put your elbows, because you're pretty tall. Try this. Oh, like so? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember that lat. Release that lat. A little bit more. Release. There you go, right there. Wait. Release that lat. Oh. Yeah. That way. <laughs> it's all back, though. It's all back. That's how you're getting that work done. I don't feel any bites up there. Yeah. So I'm just standing too close to the machine. Gonna be, this is what I'm getting. You know, the work. The problem is I'm not hitting enough lat sweep. You know, so that's why I gotta get a little lower, more of a sweep, and now I can feel it more lower lat instead of upper. So you could lock anybody into the perfect form, and it starts with. Fucking any. Anyway. See that? At least that lap. You don't want to go that way. I'm stopping here. I'm keeping my lats from getting its full contraction potential. If I lock it in. So you gotta release it, okay? So reach forward, right? It's actually harder here than on the rack. Off the rack. <laughs> Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, it's harder. <laughs> well, it's locking you in more.
Got a little bit more. Yeah, right there. Huh? Right there, nice. Nice. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, contracting the muscle while you're working out, it's only gonna help you for that stage. When you get that condition, every move you make, you're gonna see the muscle making work. Yeah. And that's how you get that pop. That's why you see a lot of guys, they're big, they look good, but when they flex, nothing else happens. So, the perfect form, good contraction on the muscle, creates a better pop to the muscle. You know, some people throw weights around, yeah, genetically, it works, you know. But then what happens down the line, you don't do that correct form, injuries. Injuries, you can't, regardless of genetics, you know, strength, still want to avoid injuries by having that right form. Deadlifts or hypers? You know, I switch back and forth. Okay. Yeah, if I do deadlifts, what's your max deadlift? Like a thousand pounds? <laughs> Somewhere around there. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Today, after, after this, 200 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but what's your highest reps you usually go deadlifts? Uh, the highest? Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm in an eight, eight rep range. Yeah, well, how much weight though? Uh, 745. Yeah. That's touch and go. Why not do 400 and do 15 reps? Sounds good too. You know, or, or 315, you know, 15, 20 reps. Again, you gotta think bodybuilding now. Right. So you wanna tear into that muscle and start getting those lower back detail. And that's how you're gonna do it, you know. Lifting too heavy again, that's just gonna thicken your waist and it's not gonna shape up your back because it's not contracting the muscle as much. You wanna focus on that contraction. So 315, 405, 15 reps, man. Score up higher up here. Yeah, elbows to that floor. Come on. Try to hit the floor with your elbow. Yeah, move up, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Try to go as low as you can without leaning back. Come on. Without leaning back. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I feel real limited. I feel like I can't get very low. It's like right here. As long as you're feeling the back. Okay. You, know, you can go later when you cheat, then you start leaning back. Okay. Right now the first ones wanna make sure. Like the cheat, you know, when the cheat comes, it's gotta be a good cheat. You don't wanna, right from the get go, if I grab this, I don't wanna start. Not, not right from the get go. Not yet, not yet. At least you rep six and onward. Right? Yeah, let me, let me exhaust the back as much as I can on perfect form. Put it down, probably get a good eight. Oh, it's starting to get hard, man. Right. Yeah. Use that lat, use that lat. Yeah. yeah. Come on, let it rip. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You recommend getting uh, those versa grips? I mean, if doing back. If your grip starts giving out before back, yes. If not, then not. Yeah. No, if you have good grip, maintain good grip. I do it without it. Problem is with this. People start getting weaker forearms, weaker grip. And it's like using the belt all the time. Yeah. I use the belt, but you know, you use the belt all the time, actually weakens your back, weakens your lower back.
got to get my conditioning like yours, man. No, no, no. Oh, watch. You're looking like this now. Yeah, those few little details. The breathing out when you do this. On the exercises for back. Don't waste your time on something that's going to restrict you. You know? Fuck, two weeks, I see already a difference. Within a month, you'll be off the chains, you know?